Hi guys, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines. So today we're gonna continue on working on the beaded simple bear that we worked on yesterday. So today I'm gonna show you how to work on the tail, the ears, the snout part, and the nose. So for this project, you're gonna need the following materials. You're gonna need a nylon monolin string that is 050mm. You're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut the string some acrylic rough beads of the color same as the head and the body but for visual purposes i'm going to use other colors so that you can see the difference or you can see much more clearly how it is done so i'm gonna teach you next okay okay guys to start off we're gonna work on the tail part first so we're gonna find where we're going to put it so it is at the back part of the bear and as you can see the bottom part has this cluster of 5 here and on top of that is a cluster of 6. So that is where we're going to put the, the tail. So we're going to insert the string which is I cut about uh, one arm length. We're going to insert it through the side part of the cluster of 6. And here is where we're going to make a cluster of four. So, put two beads on the right string and we're going to silicone. off. It's a term I frequently use wherein I pass to uh, the right string to the bead and the left one going to the right through the same bead. We're going to align it since this is a separate string. Slide that one bead so it will go to the other beads to form a cluster of four. So, we're just gonna work on clusters of four around that cluster of six to make the tail. So, since we have made the first one, insert your left string to the next adjacent bead. Form another cluster of four by putting one bead on the right and then silicone up with a brown bead. So now we have two clusters of four around that cluster of six. Insert your left string to this one adjacent bead at the bottom part. Form another cluster of four by putting one bead on the right and then silicone up with a brown bead. Insert your left string to this one adjacent yellow bead. Form another cluster of four by putting one bead on the right and then silicone up with a brown bead. Insert your left string to this adjacent bead. Form another cluster of six by putting one bead on the right and then silicon. So now we have worked on five clusters of four around. So we're on the last part now. So put, insert your left string to this one adjacent bead and also the one on top of it, which is a brown one. And then we're going to silicon with one brown bead. Okay, so now we have that and we have a hole to fill up. So I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay guys, so now that we have formed clusters of four around the cluster of six, we're now here. Our string should be coming out from this bead here. And we're just going to cover that hole that we have made. So we're going to make a cluster of four in a different way so put one bead on the right and one bead on the left and silicone up with a one bead so now we have formed the cluster of four so the next thing to do is to put one bead on the right and one bead on the left and we're gonna silicone up to that part of the the hole that we made so there are two beads here and two beads here and there's one on top of it 
So we're just gonna pass through our right string there. And then our left string, we're gonna pass through on the other side. Going to the other side. So now we'll have this as the tail. And that when we, what we need to do is, we're gonna pass through our string to several beads to fasten it off or to tighten it and make it sturdy. Just pass it to several beads a couple of times so that it will be sturdy. And that is also what you need to do with the other string. And then after this, you're gonna work on the ears part next. Just pass through your string to several beads. Tighten it as you go and then cut the string after. And then work on the other string. Okay? So I'm gonna catch up with you after that. Okay, so we're ready to work on the ears part next. So we're gonna work on the first ear first. So we're gonna find where we're going to put it. So as you can see at the top part of the head, there is this cluster of 5. After it is a cluster of 6. And then the next is a cluster of 5. So here is where we're gonna put the first ear. So we're gonna insert the string that I approximately cut into half an arm length. We're gonna insert it through that cluster of 5 there. To the first bead on the upper part of it. And also for the next one to it, so that it will be coming out from those two beads. So, we're going to put two beads on the right string. And then we're going to put two beads on the left. And we're going to select up with one bead. So, since this is a separate string, we're going to align both ends and slide that one bead so that we will have uh, the left and the right string of equal size. So, we should have this on top of that cluster of 5, as you can see. So, we're gonna work on the back part of the ear, which is this one. So, first, take your right string, put two beads there. We're gonna insert it through this middle part here going to the left. Tighten it as you go. Take your other string and put two beads there. And then we're going to insert our string going to the opposite side. And that's what's going to be on the back part of the ear. Okay. I'm going to show you one more time for the other ear. So the next thing that you should do after working on the ear part. Since this is a separate string is that. You need to pass it through a series of beads so as to fasten it. You have to fasten both ends. And after running through about 2 inches. We're gonna cut the string and then we're gonna work on the next ear okay so it should look like this there's gonna be two lines at the back part of this arch okay okay so now we're ready to work on the second ear we're gonna find where we're putting it so this is the foundation cluster of five and after it is a cluster of 6 and then a cluster of 5. So here is where we are going to put the second ear. Insert your string uh, that you approximately cut for about half an arm. Insert it through there. And also for the next one to it. It is pretty tricky to insert your thread sometimes or your string. So what I usually do is, I pinch, a, pinch the hole with a pin so that 
the hole will be wider. So insert your left string, insert uh, two beads on your right, and then two beads on your left. And salik up with the pink bead. Align both ends and then slide that one bead to create this arch type here. For your right string, put two pink beads. And then insert it in the middle of this two beads. Insert it there to create the back part, the first back part. Take your other string, put two beads there. And then insert it in the opposite side. So that it will acquire that shape. And then you're just going to pass through both ends through a series of beads within the bear and then cut it okay i'm gonna catch up with you after that so now we are down to the last feature of the simple bear that we're working on which is this nose and snout part so pick up your string which is approximately half an arm in length we're gonna insert our string through these two beads in between the middle part, insert it there. And then we're gonna put one bead on the right and select up with a one bead. Align both ends and slide that one bead so that it'll go to the other beads forming this shape here. And then we're gonna put uh, to our right string a black, a black bead. And then we're gonna insert a string through this middle part here. So that it will acquire that shape right there. So that is gonna be the snout part of the bear. I just used a different color for the snout part so you can see much more better what it should look like. So the next thing to do is to fasten off. You're gonna run your both ends through a series of beads to tighten it and to close it. So just pass it through a series of beads and then afterwards cut it. And that's, that is going to be the end of our tutorial. Your bear is supposed to look like this. Just using the same colors for the head and the body. It should look like this. So it's pretty convenient because it's just two colors. I just use different colors so I can show you much more better. So that is the end of our tutorial. All of the details about this project. It's going to be on the description box below. If you have comments or suggestions, please put them on the comment box. If you want to support me, please watch the ads in full. And I hope you enjoy working on them as much as I enjoy uh, teaching them to you. So that is the last of our tutorial for today. I hope you have a fine day and... Happy bidding to everyone.